There we go. Triss could not help I honestly don't remember where we left off. Tilly, an O'Neromancer, and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Siri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Okay, so it looks like we're in Novigrad. Um, we we helped the Onero Mancer, the the Dream Sorceress, and uh, we gotta go find Dandelion. All right. Okay. Got a whole bunch of things we can do. Let's go and talk to Vernon Roach. Uh, he he's one of our friends from the uh, second game. Quote unquote friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to kill us, so I guess he's a friend. Elven blood, eh? So, just a couple of, I think last week or so, the um, this game just made five years old. Why is everyone screaming? Is it my face? Um, so yeah, the, the Witcher 3 is five years old. That's crazy. Like, time, time really does fly. But this game really, I feel like it holds up pretty well. What is this guy? He's praying in the middle of the road. In the middle of the road. What? Maybe he's just begging. I don't know. Anyway. Where are we supposed to go? I'm supposed to go all the way out here. So I'll take a shortcut. Not really a shortcut, it's just fast travel. Okay. Oh roach. So yeah, since this uh, game turned five years old, there's been all kinds of like five-year uh, recaps of, you know, is the game really that good, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it really just made me want to start playing this game again. I really want to get through everything before uh, Cyberpunk comes out. So there's a lot of gameplay to get through. The base game is a really good playthrough. I feel like the expansion packs to this game are amazing. Like, Hearts of Stone had a really good uh, main quest line, and uh, Blood and Wine is like a, an entire new game. Like, and Blood and Wine could have just been The Witcher 4. Well, not really, but it's big enough to be a sequel. And usually, I don't really like the, uh, the whole open world game that makes you travel really far distances because traveling can get boring but uh it's kind of nice to go on a little horseback ride to the countryside all right there we are some kind of hideout you guys have here oh Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. I get it. You're the local funny man. What was that? Funny? How you mean that? Call that a punch? Oh, hey, hey, hey! Fuck you up! Fuck yeah. you up! That's that's how we uh, diplomatize as a Look witcher. Ass, 
I don't understand why calling him a funny man is an insult, though. Like, pe lots of people have called me funny in in my life. Unless they were all insulting me. I I'm sorry, like, I I'm used to having my camera on, on the other screen. So whenever I want to talk to the, the camera, I instinctively look this way. So, it's going to take me a little while to remember to look up instead of to the side. So is that like how people worked out their differences in the old days? Like you just had a fist fight, you got all that frustration out, and then he's like, all right, you punch really good, and I'll move out of the way. Is that how? The Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach. To marry his last hope. Laugh all you want. To marry will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I... You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. What a V-neck. That's uh that's some cleavage. I feel like she just does that to purposely distract men. I mean, maybe that's a legitimate tactic, you know? What do you do here? Hunt Scoia'tael? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoia'tael anymore? Temeria, that's what matters. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. It's remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything, threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than a mere. <laughs> so I decided I would mount my own fight. I like how you could just say, take care, bye. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Well, I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm -hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenford. At a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. One force move, and you could be This is an interesting camp full of uh, like an, an army with no nation. Right. So, like, their nation is destroyed. Well, it's not really destroyed. It's just no longer, you know, a thing. And they're, they're not too, quite too happy about it. I mean, I just, I just, oh, oh. You've been here, you've been there. So tell me, is it really the fashion among noble grad winters? Well, maybe I looked into too many of their uh, belongings. One false move. You could be royally fucked. Oh, just doing some push-ups and training. They're just getting ready to... I, I don't know what they're getting ready for, but I guess they're just staying in uh, soldier you've condition. Been here, you've been there. So tell me, is it really the fashion? It's true you killed Kings. You and our commander. Huh? Huh? Can I go up there? 
Yeah, hey, I can. It's true you kill kings. Like I have no idea what what's around here. I'm just exploring for the se uh, sake of exploring. We'll pay for the free Tiberia. I'm pretty sure I will die if I Damn jump off there. Pretty sure. Like Geralt and gravity don't get along very well. Um But we're gonna save the game. We're gonna find out, because it's the quickest way down! Oh! Yep. Yep. Dang. I'm still looking uh, on the other side of the screen, thinking that the camera's over there. Alright, so um, I guess it's not the quickest way down if you die and you have to reload the game. Like, as I was falling through the air, I realized, like, reloading the game would probably be longer than actually walking. But that's okay, because we, uh, we're, we're troubleshooting, and we're bug testing, and we figured out that gravity does indeed work in this game. Best be aware of the other side of the river. One false move, and you could be royally fat. You've been here, you've been there. So tell me. Okay, okay. <coughs> we didn't fail totally. Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? Aye, witcher. Alright, okay. Let's see, what do we gotta go? We gotta go to Oxenfoot. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to actually ride there on a horse. Which isn't too bad. It's not that far away. Wait. Come on now. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. I just had to change my uh, mission objective so the map takes me to the correct place. Or else I would be uh, very far off. And for a five-year-old game, this game is, is uh, still very pretty. It's got like nice landscapes, like the sky is it's really nice. It's That's like the so sun is around. there, and it looks like the moon over there. Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna ask. Well, this is what happens when you you're more concerned about staring at the sky than where you're going. Okay. Hey, look. Not so fast, Roach. Huh. Interesting basilisk you've got there. Course it's interesting. Won't see a beast like this anywhere near here. They spawn only in the wild wastes of Zeracania, from eggs laid by cockerels. This basilisk is interesting, because it looks exactly like a wyvern. Young one, and he'll fed at that. You talk nonsense, sir. This is the most truest of basilisks. The right. most what truest. do I know? I'm just a witcher. All done now. If that's no basilisk, but some wyvern, what did I pay for? Give me back my coin, cheat. Brave soldiers, damn push, or it'll roll the chart! Oh. Like what happens if I just I feel like they will kill it if I just watch them well, it just takes them a lot longer how I can kill it Ow. Poor thing. Guess the cage was as fake as the basilisk. Where'd the tamer go? I wanted to talk with him. Oh, well, hmm. Guess he's gone. 
back on the uh, rock. Witches, good folk, are like necrophages. Violet and Will and some weak and Slow now. Hi, right, Rog. My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. He's got like elbow, like elbow guards. Like, look at that. Like, it was that. Was that a thing? Like, I didn't know that was it really a thing. I'm not like an armor expert, but. Come on. I just like noticed that now. I don't think I've seen. It's just like a really interesting armor design, right? Maybe he uses his elbows a lot in combat. I don't know. Something's not right. Let's see what. Look at these chess pieces. Checkmate. Not sure if that's how you play chess. Like, that might be slightly cheating. They say it's the game of kings. The chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? No idea. I have no idea. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? No. No. No, I don't. <laughs> you do not because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. The king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death you see witcher chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces now do you see hmm i kind of do i think i do now unimportant let us speak why have you brought the witcher here i think he'd best explain Looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenford. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. I appreciate the gesture, Your Majesty. A king should be severe towards his foes, generous to his friends. 
Apart from which, I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. So does the king, like, kick everyone out of the chess club just so he can play chess by himself? Right it's sinking ever deeper into madness, as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Now, I guess it makes sense because I asked, I like, favors of lots of people. And then I guess it's only fair that they asked me for a favor in, in kind. Because, uh... I mean, Geralt is a witcher. Oh. I failed that quest. I think that was the quest to go and, like, find Junior with the dwarf... Dwarven Underground. Orson Jr.'s men visit you too, collecting protection coin. I visited everyone, and everyone paid. Only Wilter stood up to them. At least someone found the courage. Lost it. Just after they'd taken his third finger. And once it spilled where he kept his gold, they cut off the rest. Boring as fucking shit. Ah! A customer. I... Will you craft something for me? I think I need to repair some stuff. Just in case. Anything I can craft? What level? I'm level 12. Okay. Ooh, that silver sword is a lot better than what I have. So we're gonna make it. My steel sword. Oh, I can't make anything better. Farewell. You can't. How did I get on this side? You can play Gwent with this guy. Oh, goodness, am I that encumbered? Yes, I am. How, what am I carrying? Doesn't have any weight. What am I carrying? Rose of Remembrance. I don't remember what that's for, but... Oh. Let's, let's see if we can sell some stuff. Ah, a customer. Uh, show me your words. Show me what you got on offer. Alright, let's sell some stuff. Let's sell this thing. Um, what else can we... Like, these don't weigh much. So we gotta find what's weighing us down. Probably not this, but it's worth a lot of money. Oh, I can't even sell any of that. Here. Yeah, that's like seven and a half pounds. Is that better than what I have on now? Screw it. I'll sell it. Let's try and dismantle some stuff. Let's just, oh, that's, that's gonna cost me money to dismantle? Lame. I mean... It's okay, it's okay. We got rid of a bunch. Farewell. Inventory management, exciting. But at least we, uh, we got to repair our items, because, man, the first time I played this game and I forgot to, to do that, it, it sucks when things go to shit in combat. 
such a nice old grandma. Has she got a black cat? She has. Drowned hers? Plenty. You just found a moon shaped bird. Did you ever hear about her? It all came out during the interrogation. She confessed. She made Willem's mare die. And her foul whispers against Gustav to betray his wife. You should have been there when she grew Excellent. Barely licked her feet. She started screaming at obscenities. Revealed a true nature she did. Hmm. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill old God and Vic. Whoops. Okay, so um, we can try to recover from this and say it's a big misunderstanding, but I feel like. I sound like more of a badass saying this. I believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards. Yeah. Bad idea. We're gonna die anyway. Oh look, I found a key. I found another key. See, I didn't need to... I didn't need to tell him I'm coming with the whores. I just have to kill everybody. Up, 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 up. Alright, let's see. Remember how to play this game. Set people on fire. Oh, okay. Alright, we gotta be a little bit more cautious. Ow! Who's that? Ow! Alright, okay. A little bit more cautious. Set him on fire! Time to end this. Yeah, we reflected that back in his face. I kill all these people. Alright, who's next? Alright, buddy. There's a lot of these uh, axemen. Yeah, yes, we did. Like, you can lock on to, to enemies in this game. I just don't like it. Like, it works when there's... There's only one person there, but, like, once there's multiple... I kind of want to see around me to see if I have to dodge or to parry. Alright, all of you... Can you hear the crossbow man? Alright. Yeah! Alright, let's see what this guy can. You know what? Let's, uh. Oh, yeah. So, like, when I used to play through this game without the uh, ability to block crossbows, those ranged crossbow guys could be a giant pain in the butt. But now I just find them, like, really uh, fun addition to see if I can reflect the arrows back at them. Well, ow! 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 Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. I'm a little ahead of myself here. Okay. You get dodge it. All burn. I feel like it's hard to uh, argue with the effectiveness of 
Igni. Just ignite everyone on fire. Why am I walking? I'm not over encumbered, am I? Unless there's a button I accidentally clicked to enable walking only. Ah. Oh, what's down here? I don't know if I've been down here before. Oh. Interesting. Oh, it's locked. There we go. It's left control. If you accidentally hit left control, you will always walk. I really wonder... Oh, I wonder if that's like an alternative way to get in here. Like if you don't just charge in the front and kill everyone. Oh, interesting. Okay. I, I got... I got, uh, sidetracked. What are we doing? Uh, there we go, we're going upstairs. Oh, jeez. Fucking degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. This is a nice uh, house, and, and then you got that. Junior, I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Wanna know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. Yeah, that's a pretty good poet. You know, that was that was pretty eloquent. 
I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? The girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. I can't leave Doodoo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Get a grip, Dandelion. We must focus on the task at hand. I'm just saying. Well, then be silent. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Doodoo? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Yeah, he doesn't... Uh, doesn't exactly blend in our good friend Dandelion. Or if you've watched the uh, Netflix series Yaskir... I remember looking up why they changed the name. I don't remember exactly why. Some, the something floor. about there wasn't One like... The balcony. There wasn't a decent uh, English translation translation for Yes Gear. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good that. company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. I've got you, you little energy. Where's Ruvin's treasure? Oh, this guy poisoned me somehow. Oh, he's got a poison blade, I'm assuming. Where's Ruvin's treasure? Oh, hey, cute. Oh, that's how you do it. You, you little whore. An eye for an eye. But she, she didn't take the eye, did she? Or was it just like a metaphor? <laughs> They're coming! Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore!
So I guess once he lost his eye, he can't, like, change it? I don't know why. Okay. So. We can't just, uh, willy-nilly spam that blink attack because, uh, it leaves us quite open. So we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful with how we utilize series abilities. It's kind of weird because, like, you spent so much time as Geralt, and then when you switch to Siri, she's got different abilities and different, like, she fights differently. So you, you gotta... But she regains hit points really quickly and does decent damage. You just have to fight differently. That's it, you're in for it. And, you, like, looting anything doesn't make any difference. Like, you pick it up, but it's not like you get to keep it. It's got a wolf pelt and a bear trap in here. Why? Like, what? Whatever. I'm not gonna... Alright, okay. Alright. Stick it, just duck and weave. Ah! Ow. Um, I may have. miscalculated how much damage I would take by doing that blink attack. You know what? We're gonna try it again! I'm glad they're just sitting there, because I was scared for my life for just a moment, and then they stopped doing things. Okay, alright, let's pick on this guy over here, pick on him, until he's stuck get stuck in the corner. Attack me now. Oh, I still get hit. Ooh, double kill. Ow. Ow. Alright, we survived. And Siri regains her hit points very, very quickly. That's what happened. Tell you true. Doo -doo. What happened to him? I don't fucking know. Brick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the one friend? She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. This game does something really interesting. Like, he's begging for his life. And, like, you almost start to feel for him, but you can always see in the background what he's done. Like, there's this woman swinging from the rafters. Like, I could see just the, her feet from this shot, right? So it's an interesting shot because you can see, like, him on his knees begging for his life. But you have to wonder how many times someone uh, was in his shoes, one of these women was begging for their life and he didn't give them their life so now i want to kill him or i can take the high road uh and and let him go i'm not gonna do that let me tell you where things stand i'm looking for this woman because she's like a daughter to me And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. No. And like, there's all these dead women around, and like, it's it's difficult for you to, uh... To spare, like... It's difficult for you to spare his life. Like, just... So much gruesome reminders of why I 
think he deserves to die. Because sometimes humans are the real monsters. Um, this feels like a great time to save the game. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. That was quick. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. Are you playing chess again? He loves playing chess. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me, alive. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. <laughs> I cannot count on their aid. We parted ways after the events at Loch Muin. Parted ways? You gathered them in one place, then gave the order to murder them. You ignore the context. They'd assembled to revive the Conclave. The very same they had once dismantled. I was open to the prospect. The other rule is likewise. Until a certain Witcher revealed that the Lodge was behind the Regicides. The mages proved to be traitors. While the Witcher proved himself skilled at tracking traitors down. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. The Witcher he's referring to is Geralt. In The Witcher 2. So, like, I feel whenever we're getting closer to finding Ciri, some other random side quest pops up. Long live. That we don't really need to do, but I kind of want to do. Hey, how do I get off this place? There you go. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Okay. All right, so. Let's see if I remember how to navigate these. Um, okay, so... There are so many side quests. So this is the one thing about like Act 1 of, of The Witcher 3. It is so dense. There is so much to do. All these side quests that can feel like overwhelming. Especially if you're like a completionist, there's so much to do. So it just feels like you're making really slow progress. But then like chapters 2 and 3 are very streamlined and there's not as much of that. Um, so chapters 2 and 3 feel a lot different for me. But um, I feel like the pacing in the first, first chapter really brings the world to life and that's why it makes you feel like you're living in this world instead of just like going from A to B and like doing all the quests because like sometimes as like a role like, when you're role playing that or when you're when you're playing this game it could just become like yeah just go to the next checkpoint 
do that thing, watch the cutscene, do the next. But all the, like the... It's all these side quests, and there's a lot of them that really bring this game to life. But... Let's see uh, what we want to do now. Let's do this. Watch your step. You choked to death on three pounds of steel. Um, let's see, we already Let's see. Okay, okay. Let's go in and investigate these murders. Because there's a lot of these side quests that are, like, very well written, and they're a lot of fun. They're very memorable. So, I wouldn't recommend skipping all of them. But you don't have to do, you don't have to do them all, either. It's just, uh... They're worth doing. That's, I guess that's what I'm saying. I don't know what these guys want. But I guess they want to die. I'll bunch up really nice so they all set on fire. Oh! You play for this? Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? I don't know how the other guy got set on fire. But well, let's see. Shoot your pants already, big boy! Oh. Keep it together, legs! Oh. Well, we try to get fancy. Try to shoot him in the face. Like, I, I love crossbows. It's not just in this game, but in, like, in general. Like, whenever we're playing D&D &D or Dungeons & Dragons, I, I like crossbows. This this game's crossbow is not great. Like, you're, you're not gonna be... You're not going to be going through this game killing people with crossbows very easily. It can be done, but... Art is good for pushing people around. Just just think of force push, like, if you're a, you're a Jedi. Oh my goodness. That was a great shot. I hope we can I'll remember what that looks like. That's why you don't mess with the Witcher. But I don't know why these thugs are after like are, are attacking me on sight. Oh, there's three elves. Please, I have a wife, children. What's this about? This Duan sold Fistek to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They mean to kill me, steal my gold. Help me, please. What you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf. You despise humans, seek vengeance on us. But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, Poisoner. Need to see if this man's actually carrying any fist tag. We've done that already. Checked everywhere, even his boots. Nothing. The bastard sold it all, which hardly makes him innocent. Man, this is a sticky situation, because I don't know who to believe. So you put yourself in these elf shoes. I, I'm not saying I would do the exact same thing, but I would probably be very angry. 
I don't know if this is the guy that sold the Fistec. Uh, and here, so here's the thing, it's like, I, I don't, if I hit number one, I feel like I'm going to have to fight them. And it's not like they're bandits or anything. But I don't want to sit here and do nothing. So I'm going to make a decision and hopefully not lose sleep over it. Don't see any proof this man sold anyone Fistech, let alone contaminated powder. Can't let you kill him. Then you too shall die, Vatgen. Shame you happened on our path, and chose to stand in our way. I mean... I don't know how I feel about killing these elves. I mean, I'll do it. I'm not saying I like it. Thank you, Witcher. Bloody elves, they'd invent any excuse to rob me. Please take this, a sign of my gratitude. Now, I wonder if he, if he does sell this tech, like, the, you know, did, did I make the right choice? I don't know. We may never know. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go on to the next. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh, yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts murdering folk. Got scared to leave their homes after dusk. I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry, then some other bloke's already after it. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. I was just told some brave fool turned up. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Just the bodies. The beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Well, let's see what's going on. Thanks. So long. Maribel School for Tots. Oh. I feel like we visited that school, right? When we were looking for Dandelion. It's the, uh, the school teacher that he was going out with. Ooh, look at this guy. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Ooh. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. Not the marks of a Garcane or a Flutter. Gotta be an Ekimara. Let's see. Okay, so coming over here. Seems like it had lost some strength. It was sneaking along the shoreline. I wonder if that, like, homeless guy stabbed it or something, or if it Ooh. was already hurt. Alright, looks like we're jumping in! 
Oh, that wasn't as cool of a jump as I thought it would be. Okay. Hey. So did it... I wonder if... Can it fly? Does it fly over here? Does it swim? Oh. I'm not fighting it. Whoop. So like shooting a crossbow bolt with 11 damage to this thing and hitting it just 280. Like Hey, he's dead. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor and get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. Those green pants. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Ooh. Where's Yad Keridin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Caradin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Caradin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! Hey, Geralt's like, uh, I guess I got to deal with these guys? Oh, I thought that was to be a fist fight for a second. I'm not gonna actually murder these people. Alright, okay. We're gonna put down like a magic circle. Slows them down. Makes them easier to deal with. Oop, 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 oop. Hey! Let's end this. Alright. Oh. I thought there'd be something more cinematic when I killed it. Well, I might as well collect the Geralt tax. If there's something around here that you didn't nail down, I go take it. This guy's more trouble than the Ekimara. Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Yeah. Almost the green pants is dead. That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. 
More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah, see you later. Well, that's one heck of an adventure hook. I guess uh, we're going to help our buddy Lambert out here. But, uh... Ooh! Everyone's got to pay the Geralt tax. Everyone, Oh. So it's it's like a relic sword, but it's it's terrible. Yeah, it's not really worth my time. Another relic sword. What? What is this worth my time? It. Oh, jeez. Yes, it is. All right. Well, what other things can we find for the Geralt tax? Water. And we always need water. More water. Oh, Geralt does get thirsty. What, what do you got? A book. Well, probably won't read it. Alcohol and pepper. Love it. This seems like a great time to save the game. Because you never know when this game's going to crash. Or my computer is gonna blue screen. Yeah, buddy. Okay, let's see what's going on at this Seven Cats Inn. Like, I, I can't get too angry at Lambert, because like, I killed a bunch of elves on the way to see him, and I don't feel 100% great about killing them. So see him, you know, hey kill there. that guy makes me Wanted. wonder if there's a better way Cradle. that he could have done it. But I'm worn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Writes these notices. Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatch in the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen Estate. Ask for Olgierd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. Ah. So that's the uh, adventure hook for uh, Hearts of Stone. Oh, oh, yeah, but you gotta be, like, level a lot in order to do that. Let's get back to what we were trying to do. Yeah, th level 32. Uh... Dang it. This is the one thing that can get really frustrating about... There you go. There it is. Found it. Oh. He's literally in my face right there. So if you guys want to hide something, all right, put it in front of me. You explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Mm, I like it long. Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend. Ha. Oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. Far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. 
Sounds like he had a bromance going on. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And yet, Keratin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vien. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vien. There's a lot of women with, like, deep V-cuts going on in this world. What do you want? We want to see Yad Keridin. <laughs> now, why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. Is that fist tech all over the... I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. It looks like there's something on the table. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town. It's like a bucket of fish. Caradin's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me. Sleaze, Hammond and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tretigal, Hammond to Skellige and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to you then. This Salise, where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigal, the kind rich men frequent. Or suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Salise always did have horrible taste. That is an interesting name. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solis. Don't go looking for Caradin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... Hmm... I feel like I've killed enough elves in this session. No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my 
my coin! Arseholes. 64 XP. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Selyse. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. What a place, the Nowhere Inn. Well, at least now. I don't really want to go to Skellige just yet. Like, I got so many other things to do. Let's see. Oh, we're level 12. I feel like this thing is going to be a piece of cake. But we, we might need the parts for it, so. For like a decoction. Oh yeah, this is all the way back down at Crow's Perch. Oh man. But look how many things there are to like discover in this map. Like this this map is huge. And there's so many things to do. So this game can definitely get overwhelming. I would suggest just picking something. Do it and have fun. Don't get too overwhelmed. Man, look at this sexy sword. Look at look at that. Oh, wait, no. I just I just broke into this guy's house. Let me out. Greetings. Yeah. Heard you have a problem. A monster you call a shrieker. Oi. Prowls about it does. Snatches cows and goats mostly, but it won't scorn a man if it runs into one. Borzoi, huntsman under the old lord, well he said enough's enough. Claimed he'd put a stop to it, drive the beast away. Mm -hmm. Took a hatchet. Need an ambush for the shrieker beyond the moat, where the fields start. It's where we found him. Got stretched o'er the crown of a tree like Gossamer. Took half a day to collect the parts. Put him in a grave. High time a professional took a look at this shrieker. Anyone around here know more about the beast? Borzoi's son Simcoe does. Saw the aura with his own eyes. But you might find the lad art to chat with. Still mourns his father, methinks. I see. Where'll I find him? At me homestead. I took the tyke in when he lost his dad. The mother passed long ago. Let's go talk to this boy real quick. Can we talk? Let me be. Calm down, I just wanna... Go, I said. I want to avenge your father, but to do that, I gotta know what killed him. Shrieker killed him. Don't you know? That name doesn't mean much to me. Describe the beast. Tell me what it looked like. Something like a rooster. But huge. With a lizard's tail. I heard Ruffler barking in the woods. Ran to see what you were on about. There were Dad, in the bushes. A hole through his belly. Anywhere. Moaning. Screaming. I wanted to help, but how could I? How? Shush now. Come on. Calm. 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 Take care, kid. Like, Garrett would be a great uh, babysitter. Like, he just use Axie on all. All the kids, make them calm down, go to, go to sleep. I wonder if that has like long-term effects if he just continues to lose it, use it on someone. All right, so uh, whatever this thing is, we're we're about four levels higher than we're supposed to be, so I'm sure it's gonna 
be... I don't want to say a walk in the park, but I don't think it's going to cause us too much trouble. See what's going on. He's my. Oh. Muscles caked in blood. Didn't give up without a fight. Tracks are irregular here. Monster must have started staggering. Was wounded most likely. All right. So. Blood. Monster blood. Looks like the uh, the guy got at least a couple good hits in. I gotta stop to pick some flowers just in case. You know. Just in case. Okay. Tracks lead to the cave. Ooh. A cockatrice. Take all this money. Okay, it's gone, I guess. Does this bomb work? It's yep. not here. Must have fled through another exit. Gotta nab it before it gets away. Uh, nope. No, no money there. Oh! It's flying away. There it is. Won't get away this time. Roach, where you at, bro? Wait. Come on. Ah. Run, Roach. Let's go catch this thing. Or we can get stuck on a bush. Alright, you got it. Don't get in front of it. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Ow! I'm bleeding. Alright, okay. It's, uh... Get a little... A little more defensive. Okay, alright, alright. All right, we gotta wait for it to, sh to charge at us, and then we gotta shoot it in the face. Wait to see the whites of his eyes. Come on. Okay. Uh, he he should have fallen on me and dealt a lot of damage, but he didn't. Come on, come on, come on. Watch out! Oh. You get the fire, and you, you click on it a couple times, and now it's dead. Yeah. See? That yeah, wasn't too bad. If we were level 8, that might have been a pain in the butt. I have a hard time thinking that tiny little knife is going to do the job. Like, we took its head off, but... I feel like we should have brought a bigger... Alright, what can we do here? Comes in chance to dismember. Do the same thing. Wait, what? Oh, it's the same thing as a griffin's head. I see. Does it look any different? I mean, it does. Roach, just. It does look different. It's kind of hard to make out, like, what it is. Like, it's just like a lump of grossness with a beak. Which is why I kind of like the... 
the griffin trophy the best because it looks like a big ass griffin's head. Go, go. Like it's a really cool trophy. Some of the other trophies just aren't as cool. Like. Alright. Oh. Let's go collect a reward. Is the map taking me like the longest way around? Oh, okay. I know where we're at now. We just did a big circle around Crow's Perch. Deliver. Boom. Greetings. Yeah? Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank you, Master Witcher. Your reward ain't much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. Keep the coin. You took in an orphan. Need it more than I do. And they call witches unfeeling. Inhuman. Well, I thank ye. From the bottom of my heart. Yay, yeah, level up. Good job. Good job, girl. Let's go and put this one point. Where do we put this one point into? Sure. Why not? Let's put it into here. And I feel like this is a good time. To end. There's always going to be more things to do in the Witcher universe. Well, until you beat the game, obviously, but still. Lots of stuff to do. I just want to thank you guys for hanging out today. Um, hopefully going to be more 